What's up guys? Uh, real quick I wanted to make this video and uh, to show you my pros and cons that I think about the two different kinds of trailers because I know it's a big question for everyone. So let's get started. Um, you see I have both of my I have both of my trailers here. Um, I have a 7x14 and then I have the 7x16 which I've had both these trailers for a little while. Well no this one I've had like a long time like I don't know three four years. Um, after I got after I had small trailer and this one, you know, I only had since September. But anyway, um, which one should you get? That's something that everyone wonders. Um, but you know, I think both are good. I think both have their pros and cons. I guess just like anything. So it's kind of more up to you. But anyway, let's do the pros. Um, start with this one. The pros. I'll try to go as fast as possible. This one. Okay. One of the pros is everything is secure. Everything is out of the weather, out of the sun, out of the rain. Um, it could be more organized, um, my opinion. I mean, the open trailer, you know, I have stuff pretty organized in there, but it could be more organized, which is not, nothing's really set up right now. I'm just shooting this video for fun. Be more organized. The, the, another pro is, you know, you, you don't have to buy, um, you don't have to buy as, you know, you don't have to buy the, the as expensive racks and stuff as you will with a open trailer. Um, cause think about it, you can hang stuff on the wall with a few dollars hooks in there. And then on an open trailer, you're going to, you know, the racks and stuff costs more. Like, like that cage cost me a pretty good amount to have that built and whatever. So, um. Secure, it's out of the sun, out of the rain, um, low theft, no one sees what you have. Um, you know, they're, you know, those are just some of the cons, or that's some of the pros. Some of the pros with this is it's even easier to grab stuff off the side, take stuff off. Um, you can just put the ramp up if you're, if you're, you know, if you're doing work, I, if I pull the mower on there, I can just put the ramp up. You know, on, as where this one, you know, if I'm getting stuff out, I have to leave the ramp down until the yard's done. So it's just, it's very, it's easy access pulling stuff on and off. Um, you know, it's easy to get to your stuff. Uh, it, it doesn't have as much wind drag as that trailer pulling down the road. This one, you know, obviously the aerodynamics is better. Um, and uh, let's see what else. Um, you know this this little flap thing is annoying on here on this trailer, which they don't really give you too much problem. But it's just I like how you don't have to have that on this. But um, but uh, um, let's go into some cons. Um, so some of the cons for this, um, you know, as you, you know, if you don't have lights in there, sometimes it can be dark. If it's early or early in the morning, late at night, it has more wind drag. Um, you know, more a little bit more harder on your truck which it's not really a problem since i use a 250 i don't use that truck you know most of the time unless i need to um uh some of the let me see what other cons i mean there's not too many cons with that i mean guess maybe it's a little harder like if you get some on there you have to walk in around the mowers or you can just grab it off here um but you know this that's basically you know there's not many other cons beside that oh another big con or another, which I already said that, but your stuff just stays looking really nice in there. That's a pro. You know, like uh, if, if you have your blower, if you use your, you know, if I run this trailer for two years during summer, my blower, orange steel blower be white, you know, by the time, you know, pretty soon. Y'all know how that does. It just beats it to death. So, but anyway, a con for this, it's a little harder, maybe walking around in the mower stuff, which, you know, you just have to decide if that, you know, it's not really a big deal to me. Um, and it's harder to, a little harder to pull it may be a little harder when you look out the back window just to see to like turn it around if you're turning around the driveway and stuff um which i'm gonna be forgetting a few things unfortunately it's how how it goes anyway some of the big cons for this all your stuff gets faded it all gets wet it all you have to unload it and load it every morning that's another thing i hate about these kind of trailers i'm not saying i hate this trailer but it's just i just don't like 
every single morning you have to get all your trimmers and your hedge trimmers and your mowers, both your mowers, your blower. You know, in the early morning, once I'm ready to go, I just want to get in and go, which is, I like this one. I'm already ready the night before with this, so I can just get in the truck and leave. You have to load up all your stuff, um, some more cons for this. Um, it's less safe, like, you know, um, your trash can can blow off or limbs can blow off whereas if you set a bucket of limbs or something back here it's totally fine it's inside the inside the box um people can see what you have people can steal stuff off of this easier um uh oh another pro with this trailer is that you know if you have trees or something it's it is easier to pile on there if you need to haul it off but you can haul stuff off in that trailer which i do um some too so but anyway um, these are just some of my thoughts, so which one do I think you should get? I think both are good. I really do. I think, uh, you know, depending on whatever you want, and also depending on your storage. Your storage, like in your, um, if you have a garage or not. If you don't have a garage at all, you know, maybe definitely go with the enclosed so you can just keep your stuff in there. Um, but I think both are good. I really do. So, you know, whatever one, you know, you happen to come across, if you're buying one used, whatever one you run into, you know, for this year whatever you know for the lawn season i think either one is great so um i think they're both good and uh you know i use them both for different things um but i really like the enclosed but the open's good too you know so i don't know so hope this helps you out any so we'll see you later guys one more thing i forgot to mention but your enclosed trailer is a free billboard everywhere you go what you can put a sign on the gates of these i see some guys do that but you can put huge logo there on the back on the sides i just don't because i'm not i can't really grow my business any more than what it already is unless i hire guys and stuff because i'm already up to 40 something accounts and plus i still work in my dad's business too so anyway that was just one last thought thank y'all